Alright, so good day everyone and welcome back to Mr. V's tutorial. So, as we continue our discussion about the basic operations in math involving integers, so last time we discussed the addition of integers, we also finished discussing multiplication of integers. So today, what we're going to do is to discuss the rules in dividing integers. Okay, so continuing our discussion about division of integers, so our discussion for today will be divided into two parts. So the first part will be we're going to discuss or talk about the rules about dividing integers and the second part will be answering some examples of how to divide integers. Okay, so let's proceed with the rules in dividing integers. Okay, so we have the same, some sort of the same with multiplication of integers. So we got rule number one. We're dealing with like signs integers. Like signs. It means that the numbers you are dividing have the same signs. So for example, I have positive A divided by positive B. The answer for this one is if you're dividing two like signs numbers, your answer will give you a positive quotient. And you just need to divide A and B. So positive A divided by B. Okay, then if you have negative A divided by negative B, so as you can see, they are still same sign numbers and it still gives you positive answer. So A over B, right? So that is rule number one. So for rule number two, We are dealing with unlike signs number or your numbers or the, the numbers that you are dividing have different signs okay so unlike signs so if we have negative a divided by positive b your quotient will be negative a divided by b so whatever answer that you have there you just need to attach the negative sign then additionally you have positive a divided by negative b still it's negative then find the quotient of a and b okay so generally these are the two signs or two rules that you need to consider when you are dividing integers. Alright? So, jumping up, jumping to or moving to our example for the day, our task here is to find the quotient of each item. So, I have three sets of slides here and I'm going to show you how to answer this given problem so for question number one you got 35 divided by negative 5 so as we discuss on our rules when you have a number that has positive and negative value or negative signs the answer will give you or the quotient will give you a negative answer then you just need to divide the numbers 35 divided by 5 is 7 so the answer for this one is negative 7 okay so next example we got negative 8 divided by positive 4 so negative divided by positive is negative then divide the problem uh, divide the numbers 8 divided by 4 is 2 okay 
So, question number 3. Negative divided by positive. So, 24 divided by 4. So, negative 24 divided by positive 4. That gives you negative answer. Then, divide the answer. The negative quotient and then divide the numbers. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Question number 4 or problem number 4. You got negative 8 divided by negative 2. So negative divided by negative, that gives us positive answer or quotient, then divide 8 and 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Right? So that is the first set of our problem. So second set, we got positive 8 divided by positive 4. So, positive divided by positive is positive. Then, divide the numbers. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, the answer is positive 2. And question number 6. Negative 24 divided by, negative, uh, divided by positive 8. So, negative divided by positive is negative. So, 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. And the answer is negative 3. Okay, so question number 7. Negative 21 divided by 7. So negative divided by positive that gives you negative. 20, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So the answer is negative 3. So for question number 8, positive 6 divided by negative 6, that gives you negative answer. Then 6 divided by 6 is 1. So the answer here is negative 1. So this is our last set of questions. So you got, for question number 9, you got negative 132 divided by negative 11 so we have negative divided by negative and that gives us a quotient of a positive number then 132 divided by 11 is 12 so that is our answer next you got negative 60 divided by negative 15 that's negative divided by negative that gives us positive quotient then 60 divided by 15 is 4 and that is our answer for question number 10 for question number 11 we got negative divided by negative so that is gives us a positive quotient and then 52 divided by is equal to 13 and that is our final answer so last example for today is 60 divided by 12 so positive divided by a positive that answers gives us a positive answer then 60 divided by 12 is 5 so the answer is positive 5. Okay, so that is our discussion for today about division of integers. So again, see you again on our next video for our last part of the four basics operation in math involving integers, which is the subtraction. Alright, so... See you again on next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.